looks as good as the WWF TV. At the time. That's like the same entrance way. I am a such a big fan of Jeff Gaylord's weird ass robe. Wait, that's hilarious. That's, I love that. Why has nobody ever done that? Why is this the only promotion? Also, Warlord's walking over the top rope. That's weird. Um, that's a really good heel tournament gimmick. Enter a tournament under two different names. That's funny. Yeah, they should have been the Lords. Maybe they were afraid of offending, like, the religious folks that were up in the middle of the night. Minnesota, a great wrestler. He has a, a pilot's license. He flies when he wants to. And Steve Storm, a young man, he's 29 years old. He's been in professional wrestling seven years, 247 pounds. He's a tough competitor. His win Jeff Gaylord looks like if Mike Awesome I mean, was boring. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the American Wrestling Federation. As yeah, we take Warlord's just doing all of his gimmicks at the same Jim time. Gaylord, man. If you are not familiar with the <laughs> Brian, we go I'm the Warlord, the and I love war. Three, and I'm Jeff. If there is no clear cut winner by pin or submission, at the end of the match, the referee keeps a running tail. Should have been accompanied to the ring by their cousin, and Tracy. The final decision, and look at the crowd getting on the case of Jeff Gaylord. He, he's in this match and he has done absolutely nothing except blister everybody in the crowd. Like it is striking how much he looks like Mike Awesome. And Gaylord has nothing to do with it. And as this match gets underway, we want to thank everybody around the country, the cards and the letters pouring into the offices of the American Wrestling Federation. Everybody Who was the other half of the powers of pain? I don't know. Somebody else might know. You want to chime in in the chat? I don't think it was Jeff Gaylord and uh, Herb Abram GW. I don't think so. The Warlord and Jeff sounds like a right wing morning zoo radio show. He's coming back. We're going to see Valentine and Rich. Sergeant I was, Slaughter. Where are they goose stepping? Mr. USA, Nails, Hercules, and all the stars of the American Wrestling Federation. If Jeff, Ga Je uh, Jeff Gaylord was one of the knights on Shawn Michaels' weird team of knights from Survivor Series 93. We got to move right now to a Warriors corner with gun and powers. Sexy. Look at all of the baby wheel. Those men are slick. I know you consider the Texas Heyman to be your foundation, but when we step in the ring with the Texas Heyman in a few short minutes, your sports gloss is about to As the outrunners rumble. like to say. And what a way that's going to be to kick off the championship tag team tournament. Whoa! Uh oh, well, well. Oh. Hey, Verb Abrams. It was one of the power twins. One of the powers the was the other power of pain. Gaylord, who looks confused. That makes now, sense. There are in the tournament, the power warrior. What happens if they lose here? If they, if that even Mickey really J matter, still wearing his red wrestling boots. Hercules and Mr. Hughes. What a matchup that's going to be in the first round of the tournament. Well, that's a nuclear matchup. That one. You a nuclear matchup. In the ring at one time. And right now, the monster known as the warlord. Look at him. I gotta say, Warboard is very good with the face paint. Very steady hand. Yeah, he is as strong as he looks. He's six foot five, three hundred. It would be a funny gimmick is if Warlord was like that big, but his gimmick was that he wasn't very strong. Like he had some muscle disorder, where like his muscles got really big, but they were weak as hell. He is a sequoia tree. Warrior, not warrior, uh, Warlord is still almost that big. He's huge still. How his heart has not exploded, I do not know. Oh, we hit him right in the air. He gets out of the way, and now John Paul trying to fight back with a series of rights and lefts. He's got the big man trapped in the corner. Oh, he tried to whip him, couldn't do anything. 
And right there, you see we have 30 seconds That's what you get, John and Paul, for letting your partner die in the sword. ring on the and last that show. So big and strong on the Warlord. Those punches by John Paul were ineffectual. We're down to the waning seconds right now. Let's see if the Warlord can put him away. Ooh. He dropped him like the a light. The crowd lighting is very like 1989 NWA. Which is a devastating maneuver. He chose not to follow up. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see round two. We certainly are, and I don't know if John Paul and his partner George Ringo. Uh, I didn't even do, I didn't even put that together. I love that Chandra. <laughs> Again, Sir Oliver. His <laughs> what a nickname, Oliver. Sir Oliver Humperdinck's wearing those sunglasses that you get, like if you join like the summer reading club at the library when you were a kid, and like if you read your goal, they would give you the plastic sunglasses. And brother, when it's all over, Johnny Gunn, you're a handsome man. The girls swoon when you walk into an arena. Love, he's like, Johnny Gunn, I don't like you, your but you're hot. Not gonna be able to recognize you. And powers, stay out of our way. I'm serious. Uh, Dave, the referee is Mickey you know, J. What, what is he? Very, very vicious tag team combination <laughs> in their own right. But vitamin so water. Has got to be one of the most annoying individuals I thought he had a jar of pickles. Worse than me? <laughs> yes, worse than you. Boy, he is annoying then. But I'll tell you right here, I thought John Paul who ended the Jeff Gaylord had so much trouble getting that, no that stool out of the ring. Well, I'm not sure if the referee is just missing something in there right now. Oh, good oh. And look at the power of the Warlord and look at Gaylord on the other Jeff Gaylord right is having so leader. much fun. At least a high school. Yeah, Josh, uh and Warlord and Barbarian were the powers of pain, but they were, uh, Barbarian wasn't in the UWF. They did a, a Warlord and Power Warrior as uh, UWF powers of pain. Oh, jeez. That's the most violent double axe handle I've ever seen. I say unmitigated yes. When you get a man down, especially with the competition like it is in the American Wrestling Federation. Mickey J worked for the WWF as an enhancement guy. Yes. See how low he hooked on the leg? There's absolutely no leverage there. You have to get behind the knee, behind the head, and try to connect your hands. Steve Storm, I'm sorry, he's showing a little fire here. These kids fired up. Steve Storm. Sounds like he should be wearing like leather pants. Oh shit. Jeff Gaylord almost fell out of the ring on the other side. And then I see him spit at John Paul. Come on. John Paul, you can't. Why do you need to do a fake tag if the referee's back is turned? His partner's being abused, then he gets spat upon. And then a tag that the referee. Like you would have been able to make that tag regardless of the situation. that shoulder tag. You were right there beside him. I still can't get over the fact that the the team of the Renegades turns out to be Why do they keep turning the lights on and off? In my opinion, had no idea this was going to be who it turned out to be. Yeah, I think they pulled a fast one, and I'm sure Alfred Stein and the group that runs the American Wrestling Federation Board of Directors is going to have to look at this because... Yeah, Jeff Gaylord seems like he's making fun of wrestling. The right way they want rules and but that is how Jeff Gaylord commits to being a heel. It's very funny. Warlord now mounts to the second row. Oh, That's right, Mickey J was Mickey Henson in WWE. I completely forgot about that. Look at this, oh gosh, oh gosh, I thought he was gonna do a tombstone. That would have been sick. Pounds, that the other yeah, hater did work uh very late AWF. When it was pretty much just uh, like a Minnesota Chicago indie. What the hell? Jeff Gaylord's like, I'm gonna do a top rope elbow tonight. John Paul was like, what, what, what is Jeff Keeler doing? He's, he teamed with a Shawn Michaels once, so he's just doing the gimmick now. Jeff Keeler rules. I've mentioned it before. If you don't, if you've never listened to the Jeff Gaylord episode of Crime and Sports, make sure to fix that. It's amazing. This guy is a monster. Like this. 
was cool, but it could have been way sicker if it was a pile driver. And then Jeff Gaylord's like, I'm gonna break my tailbone. Like, he could have landed way safer on that. He busted his own ass. God, I love Jeff Gaylord being a silly Billy rules. Last week, the names of our tag teams for our tag team tournament 